In this video, we will be graphing cube root functions, but before we can really do that, we need to take a close look at the parent function, which is the cube root of x. Now, think about x values that would be easy to take the cube root of. Of course, uh, it would be easy to take the cube root of 0, because that would just be 0. And the cube root of 1 is 1. Um, but after that, we're dealing with 8. 8 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 8 is 2. And uh, the negatives work just as well. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. <clears throat> and the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Now watch what happens if we plot these points. All right, we get this pattern right here. Now, if we connect the dots to see what's going on in between the points, it's going to make this type of a curve. And then it will continue like that forever. So this is what the parent function y equals the cube root of x looks like. It's sort of like a wave that goes from low to high. Normally, it passes through the origin. 0 comma 0. Now let's talk about transformations. Um, if we take this cube root of x, um, if I were to do a minus h underneath the radical, that would move the graph to the right h. If I did a plus k, that would move the graph up k. And the signs are important. If this is plus, it will actually move to the left. If this is minus, it will move down. So that should be enough information for us to um, take a look at the uh, graphs on a multiple choice situation and uh, narrow it down. So when I look at this equation, I'm looking at the plus 1 and the minus 4. Now, as I compare it to the parent function, remember that a number being added or subtracted under the radical, that's either going to be right or left. It'll be to the right if it's minus, and left if it's plus. So um, what I have happening here is a plus 1. So that's actually left 1. OK, now how about the minus 4? Now remember, a number on the end is either going to be up or down. Um, but this one works more like you would normally think. Positive is up. Negative would be down. So this is minus 4, so that's negative, so that's going to be down 4. So um, let's see if that's enough to narrow it down to our final answer. Um, otherwise, we'll have to look at the um, two-fifths here, which is a vertical compression, um, but we might not need it. First of all, A is out because it's not even forming a complete wave like this. All right, It's only doing uh, half, of, half of a wave. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Um, this seems to be left one up four. So that's close, but we need left 1 down 4. Um, what about this? This seems to be left 1 down 4. Um, so that's what we want. So it's looking like C is going to be the answer. Uh, if I look at the center of this wave, it seems to be right 1 down 4. Um, so that's pretty close, but we wanted left 1 down 4. So the answer is C.